Welcome back to the Christian Meditation Podcast and the Recenter with Christ app, episode 426, The Last Passover Supper, a guided Christian meditation on Luke chapter 22, verses 13 through 17. My name is Chaplain Jared, and I have worked as a chaplain in several different contexts, including an ICU hospice and other organizations and i do this podcast to help you find more peace in your life by connecting with the true source of peace jesus christ i do two styles of meditation and this one has sections of guidance in it it follows a centuries-old christian meditation style called lectio divina so we're going to spend a few moments relaxing here in a moment, but if you want to check out something with less interruptions and less guidance, check out my alternating episodes. For now, though, close your eyes if it's safe to do so, and gently rest in this moment. Set your intention to focus on the word of the Lord. God can provide his peace and his guidance, and we ask him for that now. So in this moment, embrace the peace of the Lord. Breathing slowly and deeply, you feel where your muscles are tight. Unwind them. In a moment, we'll be reading from the scripture. The word of the Lord will pour peace into our lives. But for now, let's attempt to let go of whatever distractions or fears or anxieties may be plaguing us in this moment and just enjoy the solitude of the Lord. With each passing breath, you feel calm enter your body. The Lord is watching out for you. He's watching over you. He's willing to guide us, and he helps us feel peace and as well to understand his word. God is mindful of you. He knows what you need before you even think to ask it. In this moment, extend your peace. In this moment, extend your faith to the Lord who offers his peace. He gives us many things One of the most important things he gives us is his redeeming love. A love powerful enough to overcome even the greatest things wrong in us. And he loves us and will offer that to us as we trust him. Every passing breath connects you to the peace of God as you more wholly trust in Him. Today we're going to be reading from Luke chapter 22, verses 13 through 17. It's a moment from the last week of Christ's earthly ministry. 
first from the NIV version. They left and found things just as Jesus had told them. So they prepared the Passover. When the hour came, Jesus and his apostles reclined at the table. And he said unto them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. After taking the cup, he gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among you. Now spend a moment reflecting on the words of this scripture. Noticing any sections that stood out to you of particular interest. And now from the NRSV version. So they went and found everything as he had told them. And they prepared the Passover meal. When the hour came, he took his place at the table and the apostles with him. And he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. Continue reflecting on this passage, intuiting the message God has for you, trying to discern how it speaks into your life. During the lead up to Easter, we look back at the things that happened during the week, the Holy Week, the last week of Christ, and one thing we often mention is the Last Supper. It was initiated right before Jesus' death. He gathered his apostles and gave them bread and wine in remembrance of his body and his blood. This was directly connected to the Passover meal, and the Last Supper was a Passover meal. And this is incredibly significant. The Passover meal's purpose was to remember how God saved the children of Israel when they were in bondage in Egypt. The Israelites painted lamb's blood on the doorposts of their homes as the final plague passed over them. It was the sign from God that he had told them to do. 
This is the final plague that coincided with Pharaoh releasing them. The destroying angel literally passed over the people of God because of the blood of the Lamb. Similarly, in the eyes of Christians, the death of Christ was the fulfillment of the practice of the Passover since it had been fulfilled. Jesus said he did not eat or drink it again until it was fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And when we partake of the sacrament of the Lord's Supper, we should remember Jesus as the Lamb of God creating an eternal Passover where his blood would spare us from the plague that would befall us for our sinful actions. So may we remember him and put our trust in the blood of the Lamb to save us from destruction. God loves us enough to have created this whole plan. The being that created you is able to save you. Nobody is beyond his ability to forgive. So may we place our faith in Jesus Christ this Easter season. As we remember the events leading up to his death on the cross for you and me. May we recognize that this was foretold from the very beginning. He prepared a way. He loves you and me enough to offer redemption. Continue pondering this message. Please join me now in prayer. God, our Father, as we think of these scriptures and we think of the message behind it, may we be inspired to remember the words of scripture. May, may they speak into our lives as we're going throughout this week. May we think of the Passover, how our destruction has been passed over, how our Redemption is possible through the blood of the Lamb. We embrace the love and grace you offer. We thank you for it. And as we say in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I invite you to continue in prayer. And now spend a moment in contemplative silence, just sitting in peace before the Lord.
And now in this last section is the application phase. Try to visualize and summarize. First, summarize what is it you've either learned here or that you've gained or experienced. And then visualize how you can take that information into your life. I have a final thought and a final question for you. Before that, I want to say a couple things. Thank you for joining me. If this is your first time putting out an advertisement in some channels, and so I invite you to keep, keep listening, subscribe. You can also download the free iOS and Android app called ReCenter with Christ, where you can listen anywhere where audio is found, including Spotify and YouTube and Pandora and every podcast app and podcast player that I'm aware of. If you find it in a place that it's not, let me know. I'll get it there. The greatest thing that we can do is to trust the Lord and to share our joy in the Lord with others. May this podcast be a means by where you feel the peace of the Lord is my greatest desire, my greatest intention something I pray about fervently. May God bless you this Easter season that you can recognize his loving peace. The final question is, what role does the Passover play in your life? What role does the Passover of Christ play in your life? Answer that to someone else. Get it outside of your own head. The final thought is this. God loves us enough to offer this plan for us. He didn't have to do this, but this is what he chose to do. We love him because he first loved us, as the scripture says. And he offers this plan to you. So this Easter season, as we're remembering the somber events of the last week of Christ's life and his death, may we also equally remember the Passover of Christ, the redemption that is offered, the salvation that is made available, the grace he provides. He loves you and he loves me despite our numerous flaws. We don't have to deny our flaws in order to be redeemable and lovable. God loves us in spite of them. May we embrace the grace of God as we continually grow closer to him. Is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.